What's up guys? This is Carlton with Carlson's Travel Adventures. How are you doing tonight? I haven't seen you guys for about 10 days, I think. It's about it. And the reason is because I was traveling. I was traveling a coffee triangle. One of the things on my list to do throughout the year. I think I get it over with. Um, waiting for a friend of mine to join me, but it was taking too long, so I did it myself. Okay? I went to Pereira, then in Manizales. And then I was supposed to go to Armenia, but I changed my mind because everyone keeps telling me I gotta see Salento. I think it's called Salento. Uh, correct. So instead of seeing um, Armenia, I went to Salento. Okay? Exhausted. I came in yesterday. I'm still tired because I walked like crazy. A lot of these towns I just have hills. I mean, Manizales. You guys gotta visit that town. Streets are like this, literally like this. You know, I must say, people there must have some really strong legs, man. Because <laughs> I went up those hills a couple of times to test it, and man, you know, it's rough going up those hills, okay? And you know, even with a motorcycle, I say, ooh, it looks dangerous going up the hill with a motorcycle. But anyway, if you were to ask me which one I like the best, I would say they all have their own qualities. But I didn't like uh, Salento that much. Let me explain why. Everyone told me I had to go see it, had to go see it. It's a nice city. The buildings are beautiful. It's kind of quaint, called a quaint is the best term for it. But it was too crowded. And they warned me not to go on the weekends. Don't go on Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. So I went on Tuesday. But it was still crowded. I mean, but Tuesday in these towns, you know, in July, it was just maybe, maybe on vacation. You know, it was just crowded, man. I, I hate those crowded towns like that. It, it feels like a, a tourist trap, you know. Everyone's selling the trinkets, you know, um, the, all this, a lot of stores selling the trinkets, um, you know, the bars, the restaurants, it's just catered to tourists, right? And you don't know, like the feel of, of the town, there's just too many people, like a regular normal town with normal people, you know, like uh, Manzales. So if I would choose between the three of them, I would say I prefer Manzales. But it is nice too, it is. My, my, my boy Orlando likes Pereira. He was up there a week, month before me. Um, nothing wrong with Pereira. Nice neighborhoods. And I had a private driver, uh, what a friend of Orlando's, taking me all around the city in the outskirts. So we had a great tour. I tried to focus on some of those individual uh, town in separate videos and not here, okay? Because I have enough content, man, between videos and, and uh, photos to probably do 10, you know, videos, 15 minutes or more, but I'm trying to cut it down to one or two for each area. And uh, so I like Manizales the best, and I haven't figured out why there's so many car dealerships there in this small town. I saw it, there's a strip with all these car dealerships, and Nissan, Peugeot, Kia, Hyundai, a lot of car dealerships. So I went in, got some idea of what cars were worth to compare them to the U.S. in case they wouldn't have an interest, did that. Um, also, it's just that there's a park down here, a couple of parks, big parks, and a park where all these, um, I think it's Bolivar, guys hang out and play uh, chess. Chess is a big thing over here. People love to play chess. Guys, women too, but most of you guys hang out in the park and play chess for hours and all day. Okay? All right. So, Salento, off my list. I like it. It's quaint. You know, a lot of hills. Climb some hill. I almost didn't go back horseback riding, even though I was tempted to. It's a big thing. A couple of guys were showing their horse skills uh, around town, which is cool to watch the horse kind of in place sideways and backwards and all that stuff. It was kind of cool. Obviously, well trained. Uh, I do like it, but it was just, just too much, uh, too much, too many people there. Too many people. And the big thing there is trout. Let me say some of that for when I go into each individual area on these tapes, okay? But overall, I would say, it was exhausting. It took the bus there, six hours ride. And the reason it was six hours because construction, I would say without construction, it might be four hours ride back and forth. But we had to stop sometime to let one-way traffic do the construction. So I had a great time, it was just exhausting. I came home, I'm still trying to recuperate, you know? Some friend wanted me to, uh, or Mary, I wanted me to go to a, Choco to interview this gentleman who owns a, a black museum, museum. When we do it this weekend, two days away, 
And I just, I, I really want to do it. I'd love to do it for you guys, but I was just too beat, too exhausted to just turn around and go in two more days again. So I tell you, I have to postpone that and try to do that maybe next month. But I really wanted to go to Choco to interview this gentleman that owns a museum, Black Museum. But I mean, you gotta know your limits. You know, you, you push too hard, you get sick. You know what I mean? Uh, so I'm just trying to recuperate for the next two days. So I'll focus on each individual section and in each individual video, okay? Uh, one of the spot I went to is this uh, Parque Consota, C-O-N-S-O-T-A. It was in uh, Pineda, about half an hour ride outside the city on the bus, all right? A really cool spot, really cool spot. I'm talking about that in probably the first video, okay? All right, then. Talk to you later. Have a great night, and watch out for these videos as they come your way, all right? Take me a couple of time, a couple of hours to get them set, but they're coming your way. Have some patience. All right, thank you.